Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs. And today, guys, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best perk on your favorite character that you run. Um, this is kind of just for Alpha 3. There are gonna be a lot of changes in um, you know, the open beta when it drops, but I doubt it'll be that much different. And don't worry, I'm gonna have an updated video once that happens if there's really that much pick up of changes. But let's get straight into the video, guys. Now for Shaggy guys, these are the perks that you're gonna want to um run. The main perk, his signature perk, you're going to want his one last zoink. Uh, pretty much it gives him automatic range at 100%. And what that does is, you know, his ultra instinct. Um, very useful, you know. You get a free charge if it's very difficult for you to charge in the game against your opponent. You know, massive damage. And also these perks. These perks um, that I'm running are pretty much all mobility perks. And the reason why I'm running them is for the fact that you get full um, follow-ups um, on his character. So you're going to get 10% increased speed, jump speed. Time increase, um, jump height, and then um, acrobat, which is the increased air acceleration. And the reason why you want to do that is because his follow-ups in this game is actually ridiculous. You can um, pretty much follow up with his accounts um, pretty easily. I'm not the best with him, but let's just say uh, if I if I have some clips um, of his follow-ups, I would definitely post it so y'all can see it better. Because like I said, I'm not the best uh, with him, but trust me, it's the best perks for him to um, up up to def you is the word, right? I, I don't know how to really say it, but yeah. Uh, next we have is Rain Dog. And Rain Dog, you're going to want to run the crystal. This one isn't too good. Yes, it's larger firewall, but it isn't that much bigger. Um, and you want to run Ice Projectile, Fire Projectile, and you want to run 20% increased projectile speed. Or if you feel like it's fast enough, then you're going to want to run the... Where is it? The uh, Deadshot, which increases projectile damage. Which I think it's only like one or two more damage. So that's why I do the projectile speed for a secure hit. And the reason why you want to run that is because when Rain Dog actually hits his opponent, he puts ice on them. And I'm going to put a patrol so you can see that ice is kind of broken in this game. Like, actually broken. You see his movement. You know, he's running around. Come on, keep running around. No, you don't want to? Okay, great. So now we're going to slow him down a little bit. You can see that he is actually slowing down. And it's pretty busted, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, move around. But pretty much it just builds up a lot of damage because um, you're slowing him, so it's gonna be harder for his movement. And then, you know, the fire projectile is also doing damage. And then, because you have the projectile speed, it's, you know, shooting a little bit faster. But yeah, uh, moving on to the next character, we're gonna go to Steven. Now, I know a lot of Steven people might disagree with me, but going through the perks, this seems like the best fit for him. So, the main perk you wanna run is his bubble bounce. The reason why you don't want Steven, um, Waterman Steven is because he's kind of weak. In the first test, people complained about him and got him nerfed. And the second test, I didn't really see too much different. And in third test, again, didn't see too much different. He is annoying. Like, if you are fighting, he will come up and sneak in and hit you. But, um, I wouldn't say it's that painful, but it, 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 it gets to you sometimes. But I would rather do the bounce, um, thingy for extra hit stuns, uh, when you're hitting them. And then for your three perks, you're going to want to do, um, collateral damage. Um, you also want to run... A bounceless energy, and you're gonna want I want to say coffee zeal, and the reason why is this is for when you bounce them on the shield. Um, you want the faster dodge uh, vulnerability because um, if you don't know, Steven has a bubble, and that pretty much helps him get his um, bubble faster. And then you want the coffee Godzilla for again the bubble, and then for his other cooldowns for stuff like this and rose bomb. You want to get be able to get it faster. Um, let me just show you the whole um. The whole shield thing that I was talking about. So it may not seem like that much. Oh my god, I'm sucking right now. Alright, there we go. Oh so yeah, doing decent amount of damage. Again, don't play Steven, but um, I know a friend that actually does know how to play Steven correctly, and let's just say that stuff like that does um, add up um, in this game very easily. Alright. Next character we have is Garnet, and Garnet is the only um, character in this game right now, I feel like, that benefits on uh, increased damage um, perks, and the reason why is because um, she packs a punch, so you're definitely going to see the abilities of these, is probably like 2-3% to 3 each, so I think you get an increase of probably like 5% of all when you do them, so if your opponent is... Um, 7 increased damage right here, if, if they are the highest... Um, you know, damage player. It says a seven increase, and if you're doing ground attack, that's another five increase, which is twelve percent. And then if it's a horizontal attack, which is pretty much the same thing as this, that's another five percent. So you're literally doing seventeen percent extra damage. So that's another, I'm pretty sure, like four to five damage on on her attacks, and it's pretty brutal on on Garnet. Let's just say that. Um, and then for her signature, uh, you want to do the rocket um spawn, 
And the reason why is because it's not as good as the whole electric thingy. Yeah, it buffs um, stacks on electric, but electric in this game is pretty pretty bad hopefully you know it gets a nice little nerf so it actually feels usable especially for characters like because i think it's mainly for garnet and um rain dog but as of right now it is not good at all so you want to do, do this one and the reason why is because after even though you use two of your cooldowns after it spawns you know you get a nice um teleportation i'm um, not even have to do it and then depending on where this actually lands you could do some pretty cool stuff with it so for example do stuff like this grab him here hit him there and then you know probably edge guard him off right there if he has like no abilities and stuff um pretty pretty useful perks i would say um for garner right there next we're gonna have to go to my baby girl harley and harley you're gonna want to run these perks i don't think there's anything else better for it and, there, and you're gonna also want to run glove control smooth moves if you know how to use it properly i guess like i said from when i use it i feel like it doesn't work and even if i do get it people just turn around and hit me because that's how long her side um special is to go off so i rather do glove control this isn't out yet um when the game does come out i think you should rather run confetti explosive because um harley is more of a horizontal killer i'm pretty sure so you, or sorry vertical killer so you really want to um have this have the bomb uh, have the bomb bat on people and have the balloon probably probably a quick zero to death um right there but right now i'm um, in this build you're gonna have the gov control and the reason why is it's gonna help you with the ice and projectiles um and then again it builds up fire so I'll show you all real quick oh okay so right there i already have the ice on them ignited already and then i have my ignite even more damage and then like i said slowing down okay i don't know how to aim like i said ice does a lot guys like you will see it 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 really slows down your um opponent um in game it fucks with their movement and it's pretty bad all right next perk all right next character we have is aria now i know a lot of aria people might disagree with me um i'm gonna say there's a difference um in ones and twos for aria right here at least when it comes to the signature perk because this wounded is actually pretty strong if you do have a teammate that has a lot of debuff so this um makes it um stack twice as faster so definitely something to um use possibly but if not and most likely you just want to keep it nice and basic every time you knock someone out you get their abilities um with the steal your face and if you don't know what steal your face is it's pretty much where you're able to steal your opponent's um ability so now um you only the only thing you steal is their neutral attack so right now when i'm on the ground i do shaggy's um you know charge up hit and then in the air i do his little running feet it's pretty cool um but yeah, let's go to the, the side perks that you want to run. So again, I feel like, again, a lot of people might hate me for this, but I feel like these are the best perks um, for for her. And the reason why is, again, um, if you don't know how Arya plays, Arya is more of a air gimper. So what you want to do is you want to kill um, with her up special. Oh my god, it's not hitting. Why is it not hitting? <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty much this is how she kills. So be able to follow up as fast as you can in the air with Arya. I think it's probably the best benefit um, by using this character. But yeah, uh, move on to the next perk. We have is Finn. Oh my god. So Finn actually has two setups that I like to run. Um... Let me just find the other perk real quick. Where is it? I think it's this one. Yes. Yes. Okay. So these are actually three perks you want to probably um two sets of um great perks that's t um able to run on Finn. First we have Supreme Customer, which is 10% longer dodges and vulnerability window. Next we have is hit me if you're able to, 5% increased speed dodge, and fancy footwork, five increased speed dodge. Now I told you these perks are pretty much like the god tier worse because 5% is really nothing in this game. But for the fact that Finn is already fast himself, and not only that, for the fact that he can increase his speed, only increases the the speed of um, those perks that I just showed you. So even though it's only 5%, for the fact that I am now faster, you see the difference uh, more and more when you play, as you can see, of my movement. Let's just say if you get to three speed, I don't think you should ever lose um, a game with Finn in your life. <laughs> but like I said, this is um, for your dodges. You know, I, the reason why I use dodges is because I just feel like it's easier to get away. And also, you can play with your food like this. Like, do you see this? Like, do you see how fast these dodges? Even if they dodge, I'm pretty sure you still get a hit. Them. Like, they're, they're not moving away from you. And like I said, three speed, you're, you're pretty much untouchable. Um, but if you don't dodge a lot on Finn, that's okay. Because we do also have a setup for that. And that's going to be the speed. Um attack so you're gonna have the speeding there are four percent increased base speed you're gonna want to have um i want to say acceleration to counter or 
to get both of both worlds for this. And then finally, you're gonna run over run. I think it is. What are we doing? Speed, right? So we're gonna do um jump speed. Yeah. Um, and this one is um preference again. <clears throat> if you feel like you use your shop a lot, and if you go to 100, you want to be able to use your shop even faster, then go with this one. But if you do use your um j your gem thing and you actually get full charge uh, ground attacks easily then use this you get a nice cool gem pretty lit but other than that i recommend this one pretty quick and simple not too much thinking into it or forcing you to do a certain move to get something so yeah um but yeah this also helps you know like i said if you're if you're the one of the type to just run around and fight and you don't dodge a lot you only dodge to get to where you need to be then then this is probably the moveset for you because like i said even though it's not that crazy right now when you use your speed and get your speed up then the effects go more because say your say your base speed is at 100 right and then after upgrading upgrading your boost speed is at 300 now that five percent you know increases even higher than it was uh when it was at 100 percent so stuff like that all right next character we have is taz and taz um these are the perks you're gonna want to run you're gonna want to run the ice perk once again you're gonna want to run um, Lumpy Space Punch, and you're gonna run the Snowball Effect. Again, perks that I usually tell you not to run, I'm telling you to run, and I'm giving you the reason why. Um, the signature perk for Taz, you want to run in duels, in my opinion, is probably the right back at you because this also gives you a buff on your allies to reflect incoming projectiles. And let's just say the meta right now in duels is his projectiles, so this is super huge. Even though you do get a tote on your tornado, trust me, you should only be using your tornado if your opponent, um, if your teammate is hitting them or if they have no, um, what is it? A recovery is back to the stage, to be honest. Um, but if you're playing solos, I recommend Iron Stomach because now when you eat projectiles, you burp an anvil. And let's just say that anvil <laughs> is probably the best uh, projectile in the game right now. But the reason why you want to run ice, pro um, ice projectiles is because, again, ice projectile is just so good. Like, literally, if you have a projectile, there's no reason why you shouldn't be running this. But pretty much, the reason why is his projectile is actually um, burping an apple. And, you know, like I said, it adds up. Um, does this do a projectile? Oh, that does a projectile, too. Pretty, pretty annoying. Yep, that's a projectile. So now, you see, it's slow. Very good. Um, and the reason why you want to have Lumpy Space um, Punch and Snowball Effect like I said, pretty awful perks. But, if y'all don't know, Taz has a crazy, when I say crazy, I'm talking about crazy size special. Which is, his again, his tornado that I was talking about. And having that extra damage boost pretty much kills at uh, any percentage. Or, you know, not any percentage, but you know what I mean. Like, it, it kills pretty early. But because Shaggy is so damn heavy, if you didn't know, Shaggy's literally the, the heaviest character with Superman, which is actually ridiculous. And yeah, but pretty much, yeah, you want to run that. Um, next, we're going to have is Wonder Woman. Now, Wonder Woman, <clears throat> I feel like she plays really heavily on her um, abilities because she can actually do a lot of true combos with it. Shout out to Sandstorm for Loki figuring every single one of them and crazy follow-ups with her. <laughs> but yeah, um, with her, I think you want to run um, Godzilla. You know, again, you get your cooldowns faster. You also want to run debuff ability refund. Amazing for um, duos if your teammate is a multi-hitter because, as you can see, it's one second um, that you get back pretty faster. So you're going to see that you're going to get your abilities really fast. And then for the final perk, you're going to either want to run um, Wonder Twin for duos. And if you're running solos, I recommend just Crypto Skin. And the reason why is because um, pretty much her whole kit is based off, like, being on your teammate, you know, teleporting on them with your um, shield. So if you have a teammate, you're actually going to teleport when you put your shield on. And like I said, when you attack, I think it's like nine seconds. Um, when you um, uh, what is it called? Um, for your for your cooldown on your shield. But if you're fighting, this turns into uh, I want to say by six seconds, maybe even seven seconds, because you know you're not gonna always be um on edge with it. But like like I said, this is gonna be something that's like pretty much true right there. Like you can't get out of that um when using um Wonder Woman, which is pretty wicked. Okay, I did that wrong. Well, let, let's just say it, it's broken, bro. It's it's actually broken. You want your abilities with this weapon like that. That's perfect. That's true. And then you go up and a whole bunch of stuff. But this is a, a combo video, so let's keep moving on. Oh, and for her signature perk, you're gonna want to run uh, whifting that deals more powerful knockback for the, at the tip. The reason why is because this perk. It somewhat is longer, but it really isn't that crazy. The only thing that's cool about it is that you do pull yourself uh, within the air, and then this perk just seems. Very useless. Um, I think it's broken at the moment, so hopefully they do fix it. But as the moment, this this perk is nothing. Uh, moving on, we have is did I not do Jake? Oops, I missed Jake, guys. I gotta think about it real quick. Um, 
Uh, actually, no. This is actually the pressure you actually want to run for Drake because he's another um kind of like crazy damage person, just like how Taz is. So for the signature for perk, guys, you want to run Sticky. And the reason why is because um when you run your super stretch, the only time they can hit you is literally in your head. If they touch you, they kind of get like a hit stun effect, and I think do a little damage. And this is pretty not that good. Yeah, you get bounced back in the air once. Eh, not nothing that crazy. But what it looks like um pretty much this. They can't touch you unless they hit your head. If they're not hitting your head, they're not hitting you. Um, and they're just gonna take, you know, damage as you can see right there. Um, and then the perks I'm running is, again, um, slump, um, lumpy space punch, the snowball effect, and the horizontal damage boost. Again, adding all these up gives you literally 17% damage. And the reason why you want to run it is because, one, his punches are fucking annoying. And then, two, James Baxter that does massive damage if you have all three of them on that's increased damage and it also doesn't have a DK I think that's gonna be changed in the you know the um, open 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 beta but as of right now this thing is kind of boast busted so you know enjoy your last hours yes people with this sh with this horse and yeah definitely um I what I recommend um, on Jake right now next we have is Superman and Superman Again, he's another f follow up character like Shaggy, I want to say, when it comes to it. So, pretty much what you want to run. Again, if I have time to f um, find it out, I'm going to look for it for y'all. Like, just to show y'all that I'm not joking about like the follow ups that these characters have with these um, perks, I want to say. It it's pretty ridiculous. Um, so, for this one, I say flaming re entry. And this is just me thinking of like over time when you're fighting and people not paying attention to the floor because these fires on these grounds do damage over time it literally sneak ups on damage and you're not even realizing that you're actually getting damaged that much and in this one even though you do get a further reach i don't think it's that needed uh with the sniper punch because people don't even really use it so with this one uh when you do his um air entry come you leave fire like i said when you're fighting and stuff, people are just going to slowly walk around. So I'm just going to put it on him. So like I said, when you're fighting around, people are going to be fighting. We're going to be fighting. You're going to be in the fire. I, I could literally throw you back into the fire if I really wanted to. It's, it's just going to be worth it. It does it does damage, guys. Just trust me on that one. But yeah, the reason why you want to win these perks again is because, like I said, his follow-ups are amazing. Literally. Uh, like I said, I don't play these characters, so I can't really show y'all. But like I said, I've dealt with these characters, so I know their follow-ups are pretty brutal. But yeah, trust me on this, use this. Boom. Aw, oh, damn it. If I have a hit attack faster, I would have killed him. Pretty much like stuff like that. Um, Next we have is Batman. And again, Batman is going to be in the genre of probably like how Harley and the projectile characters are. And the reason why is because it um adds up and this is pretty much like your main thing you want to do um, on this character is his Batarang. Um, this one is probably what you want to do when it comes to his bounce thing because it does uh, weakening and weakening is very crucial in this game because it does a lot of damage. This one, it's okay. Deals less damage um, and knockback while he's reeling even though it's further. Trust me, his, his grapple is already fast, um, pretty far enough. So go with bounce ring and what it does, like I said, it gives you weakening which makes you do even more damage. And the reason why you're running projectile um, speed is because you want your battle ring to go even faster. You want projectile uh, or fire projectile so you can ignite them do even more damage and then again you want ice projectile just to slow them down guys literally if you have a projectile you literally want to run um ice no matter what ice over fire 100 percent. but yeah this is what it looks like when you're weakening them now you have like literally three stacks on them they're ignited now and again this is another character that does great follow-ups but um like i said because you have that battering bro you want to um just stay on top of it you literally want to stay on top of it you, you literally like, I, in my honest opinion, you you only want to do that, literally. Watch out. And you get um a bomb thingy. It's just it's just so good, guys. Like when I say it's so good, it's so good. Ah, oh. all right. Next character. Next we have is Bugs Bunny. Now, Bugs Bunny. There's some things I would probably do a little bit differently, but I'm gonna go based off of my teammate because this is what he actually uses in duo play with myself. Shout out to Batman and what he does in solo play. Actually, he runs fire because of his projectiles that actually you know doesn't always hit all the time, but you know definitely when it hits, it, it makes a difference. Um, and then triple jump because he has a crazy crazy combo that he does and then this is preference solos he used to run this a lot but for the fact that we run twos we run this because it does like a shockwave damage and we're invincible when we pop out really really good 
The kiss is also good because it's a very lingering. Like it literally says lingering love. It's a very lingering move that even if you hit them, as long as they already do the, like the animation of like letting go of his lips, it kind of already confirm it. So it's a very very annoying um perk to deal with. But yeah, um but yeah, the reason why you want to run fire and stuff is like as I've been saying, just uh oh okay. It's just the whole um okay I don't know the buttons guys I apologize but yeah just when you get the safe you actually just do so much alright let's do this again um with the safe you know you don't have to like swing hit it like crazy you could do okay I am trolling you guys right now is it this move I think it's this no oh, okay it's this alright so yeah so you don't have to go crazy with that you know so you could toy around with your enemies you know fake them out and go for stuff like this because um it's pretty like hard to dodge that safe, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, look at that. Full stack. Um, okay, okay. And then yeah, and also if you don't know he has act me, if you literally just go scroll down, that also counts as that. But yeah, literally. Very, very busted to, to have it on. And like I said, you can do crazy follow-ups. Crazy follow-ups. Crazy follow-ups with, with tri triple jump as you just saw. I have a pie on me. Cool. How do you, how do, you do his pie? Sorry, I just want to know. Okay, so it's down special, and then that does that, and also it does slow. So that makes it ice with slow. They literally can't move. If you have them off the stage, they probably won't be able to make it back on the stage, like at all. It's kind of crazy, but yeah. Next um character we have is the most hated character probably in the game right now, Tom and Jerry. And with Tom and Jerry, these are the perks you're gonna want to run. Nothing else. If I see you running anything else in this character, you're legit just throwing, and. For his um signature perk, you're gonna want to run dynamite split. The reason why is because you um split three uh, dynamite into three. Very busted, very big hitboxes. Literally, I don't even think you could dodge it. Even when you dodge it and it's so far away from you, it still somehow hits you. How I don't know. This perk, pretty cool, I guess. If you always get hit back, but like I said, not over this perk. There's no reason why you should ever run this. And again, you want to run fire projectile and ice and super speed on, his, on your projectiles. And the reason why is because Tom is or Jerry's fucking broken, and it counts as a thing. And let's just say Jerry plays a different role when it comes to um projectiles. He's he's a projectile, but he's not a projectile. So it's very he plays, bro. He literally plays his own video game. He literally plays his own video game, guys. And then um, if you don't know, you know, I do this. Oh, and also, Jerry's little quirk counts, too, as a projectile. So, literally, when your teammate is... Or when he, when your enemy's trying to kill, I guess, Jerry, you can literally just a tap attack, and it will, um, you know, hit for you. And then, let's not forget his broken, um... Yeah, let's, let's not forget about that. But, anyways, that doesn't matter. <laughs> and then, finally, guys, we're gonna run is Velma. And those characters I showed you, pretty much, you always wanna run in, um, duos. Um, and solos. I don't really think there's that much big of a difference, unless I already said it. I'm on the character. But, yeah. On Velma, you're going to want to run, again, Ice, Fire, and Grey Health Projectile. And you want to run Knowledge that gives you 7 Grey Health off rip. Or, sorry, when you pick up um, Evidence. Pretty busted. Oh, Velma's oh only Velma's ally gets it. Oh, that's still broken, though. But then this is not useful. You know, it's one piece of effort. Um, evidence extra that you get already. So it's one less you have to get. Not worth it. Rather give your, um, your teammate this. Uh, obviously, you want to run this in solos. And this in duos because I don't think you also get it, but yeah. But the reason why is because even though all her moves aren't really projectiles, even though you know words and stuff look like that, um, she actually has a built-in like projectile move set that follows you. So this is where you pretty much get the best out of it when you throw your words, you know, you slow them down and stuff, literally. And then I think, hold on, if I press the wrong button, if I press the right button, there you no, where's the button? Oh my god, where is it? Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure it out for y'all. So she has a move where... Ah, cooldown reduction. So you see, now my words are coming back even faster. And then guess what? I have my words again already. I literally have my words again. Slow them down, punish them, go back up. It's it's brutal. It's, it's brutal. <laughs> and then, um... You can't see it because the ally thing. So actually, let me get the whole ally thing so you can see how it looks. Um... So now... Oh. God, it's gonna go like that. So, oh, come on. Ah! Alright, so how about this? There you go. So, as you can see, my, my teammate just got um the armor thing because I'm running it. Um, But if he also runs it, it does 8, which is actually ridiculous. So, let's give him that perk, actually. So, now when my words hit... Okay, I guess perks are broken because 
I guess you can't test it out properly. Oh, yeah, it's not going to test out properly. But pretty much, my teammate will have 8 because he's also running it. But I guess in the lab, they haven't thingy that. I'll definitely let Tony know about that. So the perks actually works perfectly in the lab. But, yeah, pretty much very busted for her. Um, Yeah, that's what, that's what you want to run on. Again, you do damage over time by just being this um, far away. I think this counts too, right? Okay, no, it doesn't count. But it is weakening, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it just does so much damage. And like I said, slowing them down for your teammate and for yourself, you know, when you want to go in is pretty um, brutal. So yeah. Oh, also the camera does weakening. This character is just oh, everything. Anyways, uh, that's it for the video, guys. Yeah, that's it for the video. I did all characters. Yep, that is it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment about anything you know. I love y'all comments, man. And tell me um what perks y'all think that I actually missed or um nice combos that you think I missed um on characters. Also, bonus um bonus um um, 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 um perk when you're in duos and you're going against projectile um characters, you're gonna want to take probably one of the perks that I told you in those sets and you want to run projectile block and the reason why is because once you get hit with a projectile you probably don't need to run two because I think two seconds is long enough to get back in uh, once you get hit by a projectile you actually get projectile protection on the next hit so the next projectile they hit, throw you at actually doesn't hurt you which is pretty cool and if you are a really solid neutral dodger <clears throat> instead of that perk you probably want to run this perk which is kind of a little bit better um or is it dodge armor and maybe you want to double this up in duos because it lasts even longer so you don't have to run in like a psycho man but pretty much dodge armor if you neutral dodge a projectile you actually get armor so you actually punish them for trying to spam projectiles on you but like i said only if you're good at neutral dodging but yeah um that was just a quick bonus on when you're going against projectile teammates or enemies like tom and jerry um ring dog and i guess velma as you saw but yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Um, and again, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube uh, YouTube channel, what are you doing, guys? I am on the Multiverse's news, updates, tips, and tricks as you're watching right now. And I'm about to upload so many gameplays and esports and tournaments um, this coming June, guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace.